Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's occasional series in MATLAB tutorials. Today we will be looking at some video processing in MATLAB. Now I've already done bits of this in uh, another YouTube video, but just to have a second go at it here. Okay, we have the script running and again, um, video files are very large and if you're doing this as a trial, you want to try and keep the file size as reasonably small as possible. So we have the script there and we just set it off here. So there we are, we've got the number of frames etc and, and all the properties of the file. Uh, you can see here now the video is playing, it's a very short file and I used my webcam to capture myself and I played it just to go back to the script there. So that's where I got the properties. I pre-allocated the movie structure. I read it in one frame at a time. So move k dot data is a struct and there's c data which would be the to contain the details of each frame, lines 29, 30, 33, 34, etc. I'm playing it. I played it in line 33. Line 37 will give me the first frame and also with line 41. So I just want to shut that down. So there's the first frame, not a lot in it, but I took it in very, very low lighting conditions. Okay. Now, just to go back to here, I read in all the frames, and on line 58, I got a montage of all the frames. Okay. And then on line 63, I'm going to get a montage of the first 10 frames. So that's coming up now, just one sec. There's a montage of the first 10 frames. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to play it using the movie command. I'm going to play it once at 44 frames per second. So this will be a bit quicker than normal. Okay. So there's also, we can play the movie with I am play. And before we do that, we can get s you can use this to get some properties here. You know what's in the workspace, etc. Frames per second, and so just give it a little play this way. You can go backwards, you can go forwards, really doesn't matter. Uh, I took frame seventeen. Now this isn't a great example. And I did a low pass filter. Now, this is kind of silly because the, t it was taken in such low lighting conditions. There'd be a lot of noise and there wouldn't be many sharp edges. But just how did I do that? Uh, 992, I got frame 17. Line 95, 96, 97, I filtered it. And then on 103 and 104, I subplotted it and I got the image. Okay. Uh, later, you can see there, I got frame 17 and I inverted it. How did I do that? I did that on line 110. I did an IM adjust, which is a contrast stretch, and then I flipped it. You know, black is white and white is black in for all three planes. Okay. So what I'm going to do then on 124, carrying on from there, I'm going to put uh, the two adjusted frames that's 70 frame 17 and 25 into the video and play it now it won't make much difference to this one because of the extremely low lighting conditions but it's just an example you saw a flash there of the um, negative yep we're going to play this again now that we made a negative of the whole movie you can cancel that figure behind just play that again. There's the whole movie. And I did that on 141 to 145 and I did an IM adjust and I flipped each frame and then played it. Uh, oh yeah, one line to command to mention there. Image to frame. Okay. And then I made a movie out of it. So just to 
mention that sorry about that so uh, same thing is going to happen slightly different way of inverting the frame so 155 for 157 I'm going to play that as well again with I am play just did it twice just to show you you can do it two different ways then what I did was I wrote just get it up here I did I wrote that new file to movie or a new file that new video file to disk sorry line 172 I defined it uh, line 174 I wrote it to file, how do I write the file, move it to AVI and I just did a display there that I've written to it and then what's going to come up here is I'm just down here, oh I might, oh yeah sorry I read that movie that I wrote the file back in again and then I'm going to play it and then I'm just going to read in another down here I'm going to read in another WMV file just to show you can do that so Okay, and that's what happened there. Okay, thanks very much. Thanks for listening. Bye.